What's up guys, my name is Tazzy Gamer and welcome to Firewatch. I don't know much about this game, uh, to be honest. I, I think it's going to be good that way for me because I know then it's going to keep me interested and, and that sort of stuff. So in saying that, uh, let's get into it. You see Julia. She's about your age, late twenties, laughing with well dressed professors and grad students from from nearby CU Boulder. You, Henry, are out drinking with your pals. You approach her. You are drunk. So what? What's your... What? So what? What's your, you know, major? You, you're pretty. Um... I think you're pretty. You're pretty, she says coolly. You're not. You are future hungover. What? You reply confused. Someone should buy you cheeseburgers, she said. She flags down the waiter and one way glad that you are Julie's, Julia's boyfriend. Jesus, that worked? That actually worked? Okay, cool. Wow, look at that. I'll pick up the backpack. Yay. So what are we getting, getting into the car? Low gear. So I actually got a backpack and a load it. Okay. You date for over a year. She drives you absolutely nuts. It's great. You move in. You share an apartment near the school with a view of the mountains. You two drink beers out on the deck. You drink beer just about anywhere. Life is good. Julia wants to get a dog. Okay. There's a scruffy undersized beagle. Julia is in love. She wants to bring it to her with her to class. There's also an intimidating but gentle-eyed German Shepherd. Nothing can bad. Well, fuck English. Nothing bad could happen to Julia while walking this dog. It's badass. Um. Well, she loves the beagle. I think that one. Mayhem's an excellent dog. He loves wrestling with you in the park and goes with Julia on runs. Even though he's too big to bring to school, Julia loves him all the same. Mayhem is a friend, child and pet, all rolled in one. Well, you know, that's what you want in a pet. <clears throat> 1979. Jeez, you talk out of the deck. It's summer 1930 and the heat still radiates off the high desert. What do you think about kids, she asks. Whoa. Uh, mm. Kids. That they're, they're not very smart or good at much. Oh. Oh. That's harsh. Coming from a dad, myself, that is pretty harsh. I'm saying if you and I have some, cu some a couple of idi little idiots. Um... In that case, we should probably get married. Yeah, I would like to. You say these kids are not going to be these kids are going to be screwed up enough. It's probably for the best that the parents are hitched. Oh my god! What do people make me play this? Game? What on the people don't make me play these games? I play these games. Layers of fears. I'm a dick husband, and in this one, I'm a dick boyfriend. Wow. Okay, let's go for a walk then.
It's Thursday night and Julia is four hours late. She doesn't call. You wo you worried and getting angrier by the minute. She walks in after you've gone to bed. She's not quite drunk, but she's clearly been having a fun time. You fight when she gets between the sheets. I don't want to get mad. It's, that's something... That's something... See, so this is hard. Because from, from someone who has... Or, or has anger, anger problems and trying to keep them under control. Um, getting mad is just not. It's just not the, the proper way to do it. And not even ignoring her is either. It's. I want to say you ignore her. Because I don't really want to go, you get mad. Either way, they're both not, not good so I'm gonna have to go for the lesser of two evils I suppose and ignore her you don't touch each other all night see that's bad the next day you feel guilty for being so angry and ask her about her evening she says it was great you hold on to a tiny pill of resentment you make some coffee and go to work Julia still likes to draw. She draws the plants. Oh no, she draws plants from her research. She draws all the places you can go. She draws you. You close. Oh, I'm gonna like uh, frolic like a Victoria's Secret model. Yeah. Julia was right. You are very pretty. Oh. It's, it's nice to know from after all that crap. Yeah, she still thinks you're pretty. Well, this is a very actually. I want to take a moment. This is a very, very pretty game. Look at it. Look at the sun. And the music. <coughs> well, ruin the moment. And the music. It just it fits it. It's great. Honestly, if I have to go through some memories, though, it's going to be hard because two forks tower, eight, eight more mile, miles. Okay, cool. Hop over. That's it, pretty. 1982. During the summers, you and Julia enjoy walking mayhem at night. There's a festival in town. It brings in folks from faraway places. One of them tries to mug you with a knife. Well, this is not going to go well. My hand runs away. My me move fuck the, the dog. Julia yells. She gets flustered as she has trouble speaking when she's stressed. You can't. You confront the attacker. Attacker. Um. Scare him away. You reach into your pocket like you've got a gun and threaten to kill him. You manage to scare all three of you. You manage to scare all three of you. How do I manage? He runs away. Julia asks to take a different path from that day forward. You say okay. You don't want to go that way either. From then on, you walk by the river. River. Nineteen eighty four. Plan to have kids get waylaid by work. Julia gets offered a job at Yale. Yale is in Connecticut, 2,000 miles away. It's a great job. Associate department chair. She wants to move. You absolutely do not. Um, I don't want to hold her back. But commuting is hard too. Um, oh, wow. Such hard decisions. Um, agreed to a commute. 
she, you ask her if she'll commute back and forth. You don't want to move to, to Connecticut. She says that'll be hard, but she'll do it if you won't move. You tell her not to pass it up if that's what she wants. She agrees. She flies back to Boulder, Boulder three times each semester. Julie is sent home from Yale on paid leave after having an episode. She lost it on a colleague for borrowing books that were important to her research. She didn't remember she had happily loaned them to him just two days prior. She was frowned crying in the stairwell. You said maybe it's to, uh, you make... Uh, no, talk about it. After seeing multiple doctors and having many tests, uh, she, they're worried that Julia might be suffering from early onset dementia. She is 41. You both just said, why keep it a secret? Seriously. Is that me? Really? Mayim is getting older. She's got silver hair now. He's, oh, he's got silver hair now. He's back and, and slows down at night. You and walk, Julia walk him to the bar to see your friends and it feels like nothing has changed. Julia goes back to university. Julia's a fix and gets worse. She can't remember things in class. Her research is in shambles. She drives her car to the next town over for no particular reason and has be to be brought home by the police. She is devastated. She's sent home. Oh, no. Sometimes, some days you get the Julia who calls you a dope and your unborn children these idiots. Little idiots. Other days you get a stranger. She pulls you into bed to make love. After five minutes she goes into a panic believing her dad is at the dock is at the door. You tell her family. They are crushed and begin to make trips back and forth from their home in Australia to visit her. Australia, okay. For a while, your friends come by with little things to brighten the day. She gets worse. You spend four days following Julia around the house. You count the seconds between the two weekly visits from Daniel the nurse. He suggests that Julia should, could live somewhere else, somewhere with 24-hour care, a home. He sits with you for a couple of months. Um... Um, yeah, she needs the help, she, yeah, she just needs the help. Wow, I still can't believe how stunning this game is. Um, if I can, I will leave it here. Um, I don't want to get into this too much and make it a too long of an episode. Um, to be honest, a lot of this stuff is bringing back, <laughs> um, old memories of a person that I once was, and I do believe that I want to continue on with this game. Um, but yeah. I really don't know if I want to be joyful for this one. <laughs> I mean, how I usually do everything. Um, yeah. Leave a like if you do enjoy, did enjoy this video. I'm sorry that it's, you don't see much. Um, Subscribe if you are new to the channel if you or if you want to see more um, And as always Until next time remember the gaming is not a crime so be free 
And game on. And, and, and I... Oh shit. I played that in reverse, didn't I? Um No 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 you freaked me out. I wanna play that in the book. Sorry. I'm sorry.